कोनार्क सन टेम्पल दिशा स्पेशल कोर्ट्स फॉर स्पेसिफाइड ऑफेंसेस अगेंस्ट वुमेन एंड चिल्ड्रन बिल 2020 पैनल फ्लैग सेंटर्स मर्ज पेंशन सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्वेश्चन डिले इन सेटिंग अप एनवायरमेंट रेगुलेटर तेलंगाना हाई कोर्ट एवॉर्ड्स जेल टर्म टू सिटी पेट कलेक्टर आर डी ओ वायरस पासपोर्ट सिंथेटिक एपेचर रडार जॉइंट एक्सरसाइज डस्ट लिक सो कोनाक सन टेम्पल Archaeological Survey of India is carrying out the conservation of the Sun Temple at Konark. About the temple, built in the 13th century, the Konark Temple was conceived as a gigantic ch- chariot of the sun god with 12 pairs of exquisitely ornamented wheels pulled by seven horses. It was built by King Narasimha Deva I. the great ruler of ganga dynasty the temple was included in unesco world heritage site in 1984 for its architectural greatness and also for the sophistication and abundance of sculptural work the temple is a perfect blend of kalinga architecture heritage exotic beach and silent natural beauty It is protected under the National Framework of India by the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act 1958 and its rules 1959 The Konark is the third link of Odisha's golden triangle the first link is Jagannath Puri and the second link is Bhuvaneswar capital city of Odisha This temple was also known as black pagoda due to its dark color and used as a navigational landmark by ancient sailors to odisha similarly the jagannath temple in puri was called the white pagoda it remains a major pilgrimage site for hindus who gather here every year for the chandra bhaga mela around the month of february so we need to know about the konark sun temple kalinga architecture chandrabhaga mela which temple is popularly known as white pagoda and note on kalinga style of architecture disha special courts for specified offenses against women and children bill so the union government informed the lok sabha that an inter ministerial consult consultation for the andhra pradesh disha that is special courts for specified offenses against women and children bill 2020 had been initiated the bill paves the way for understanding sorry for avoiding the death penalty for rape and gang rape so background of this is the bill was reserved by the government for assent of the president bill received from states for assent of president are processed in consultation with nodal ministries or departments it envisages the completion of investigation in 7 days and trial in 14 working days where there is adequate conclusive evidence and reducing the total judgment time to 21 days from the existing 4 months it prescribes life imprisonment for other sexual offenses against women children against children and includes section 354f and 354g in ipc in cases of harassment of women through special social or digital media the act states 2 years imprisonment for the first conviction and 4 years for second and subsequent convictions for this a new section 354e will be added in ipc 1860 as per the bill the andhra pradesh government will establish operate and maintain a register in electronic form to be called the women and Ch- children offenders registry this registry will be made public and will be available to law enforcement agencies the government will establish exclusive special courts in each district to ensure speedy trial 
this court will exclusively deal with cases of offenses against women and children including rape acid attacks talking vagarism social media harassment of women sexual harassment and all cases under the posco act the government will constitute special pol- police teams at the district level to be called district special police team to be headed by dsp for investigation of offenses related to women and children the government will also appoint a special public prosecutor for each exclusive special court so what do we need to know about this is the power of governor to reserve state bills for president's assent procedure to be followed about posco act highlights of the disha bill and discuss the significance of andhra pradesh disha bill next is panel flags center merge pensions the parliamentary standing committee on rural development submitted its report to the lok sabha recently the report suggest the center to increase the merge pensions provided for poor senior citizens win- widows and disabled people assistance under the national social assistance program has been very low ranging from rupees 200 to 500 per month under the different components of this scheme it also highlighted disparities in the payment of wages and unemployment allowances under the flagship manrega scheme about national social assistance program the national social assistance program is a centrally sponsored scheme under the ministry of rural development it came into effect from 15th of august 1995 it represents a significant step towards the fulfillment of the DPSP in article 41 of the constitution it directs the state to provide public assistance to citizens in case of unemployment old age sickness and disablement and in other cases of undeserved want within the limit of its economic capacity and development it aims to provide financial assistance to the elderly widows and persons with disabilities in the form of special pensions it currently covers more than 3 crore people who are below the poverty line including about 80 lakhs win- widows 10 lakh disabled and 2.2 crore elderly presently nsap comprises of five schemes namely Indira Gandhi National Old Age Pension Scheme Indira Gandhi National Widow Pension Scheme Indira Gandhi National Disability Pension Scheme National Family Benefit Scheme Annapurna So we need to know about Annapurna scheme NSAP NSAP eligibility articles 41 and 42 of the constitution and about NSAP Supreme Court questions delay in setting up environment regulator. The Supreme Court has asked the government to explain why it had not set up an independent environment regulator to oversee green clearances. Background of the case is the Supreme Court had ordered the setting of 